to give a thanks to my mom, dad, and big sister for going through this process with me and always being there. Thank you for every coach and every trainer that has helped me become who I am today. Lastly, I would like to thank all the univer universities that have been relentlessly recruiting me for the past few months. With that being said, I will be choosing University of Florida. Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! How about him? How about him? FSU lock, baby. Elite, 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 baby. Elite. Suit up, boys. Suit up, boys. His arm looked like he was ready to snuck up on him, baby. Y'all thought, wait, what him knows that? What him knows that? What him knows that? What him knows that? How about him? Can you repeat that, please? They're trying to interview me, can't hear shit. They're going nuts. Settle in, LJ McCray um, really, is here. I just felt the most com comfortable there, and we didn't have many talks. 2,000 strong, baby. Listen. I feel like that's the best place for me. That's how you handle a bye week, boys. We're six and two as far as I'm concerned. Six and two. Put that on the put that on the on the on the schedule. Hey. Let Billy cook. Let him cook. Um, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I'm, I'm super blessed to be in this position. I mean, it took a lot of hard work. Uh, a lot of great people around me to push me around in the But uh, I felt that, that, I mean, I always wanted to go there since I was little, so this is a dream come true. Dream come true, I love that. Huge, boys, huge. Um, they're definitely building things. You can just tell that by how hard the guys there that's already there and it's the past class are playing and the, and the class is coming in right now. You can definitely tell that they have something going. How about them? Oh, uh, I mean, I definitely feel comfortable. I mean, I feel like I could call them and talk to them about anything, especially football. Those guys know it for sure. First guy I'm be recruiting, but uh, those guys, I, everybody in the class, I'm sure I've talked to once or twice. But for sure, DJ Lagger, I mean, he's been calling my phone, texting me, and, and so is the uh, Xavier. I mean, all of them have been blowing up my phone all week, so that's definitely those are my guys for sure. Hey, Xavier, feel some me? Cooking. Cooking. Well, we're gonna talk about the rankings here in just a minute. I'm a little finished because I want to hear about our new, you know, he's a big defensive lineman guy, right? It's a big, big guy, big, big family. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reach out. We're gonna see what we can do. Let's go, boys. LJ McCray. Well, let's baby. Ooh, I appreciate it. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the family. LJ McCray is a gator. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's talk about the calculator one time. Smash the like button, boys. Watch this ranking drop. Good point, Devil Dog. <laughs> Good point. That's funny stuff. So look, that puts us at a smooth 288. That 292 number is that magic number for the Florida Gators to just have a record-breaking class would be the highest-rated class of all time for the Florida Gators if they could get to that 292 mark. So now, with us living the dream over here in Florida Gatorland, um, let's go ahead and let's talk about Zay Mincy because Zay Mincy also goes to school with LJ at uh mainland florida and we've been crystal balled with zay months ago and have not heard it's been quiet since now will we get a package deal i i, I do not know i do not know i i would love to think that we would but we add xavier to the mix which is extremely extremely likable that could happen that puts us at 292.95, which just puts us right at the number that we were literally just talking about. Still behind Ohio State because they're rocking at a smooth 303. But that 
commit with Zay Mincy, what does not seem unlikely. And Jordan Seaton, obviously somebody that Florida is still heavily pursuing. I think the that is wide open as well, too. Let's say we get the package deal with him. Let's say we add IMG. That puts that 299, still behind a hell of an Ohio State class. But if we could somehow, some way, some just sort, sweet eight-pound eight baby Jesus make this happen and land us old uh, Jeremiah Smith, who knows what would happen. But massive pickup here. And landing another five-star, that is a third five-star of this class. Xavier feels to me, DJ Lagway, and now LJ McRae. Three five-stars. I don't remember the last time the Gators landed three five-stars. And Zay Mincy, as well as LJ, has skyrocketed through the, the rankings as well. Let me take a look at his on-three rankings, because I want to say he was either close to a five-star or is a five-star. So he's still currently a four-star. Again, on on three, we are currently leading the way at 64.8. Landing LJ makes me feel extremely comfortable that the possibilities of landing Zay Minty would be absolutely possible now. And Jordan Seaton, Jordan Seaton is a five-star. If Seaton, if Seaton was able to come through too, that would be five, excuse me, four or five stars that would be a com- committed to the Florida Gators, which has to be uh, a massive record. So let's go take a look at Billy Napier. They said he just tweeted in the comments section. You know, Billy, Billy's off today. You know, he's chilling. He's vibing. Big W there for Coach Billy on his bye week. Ooh, with an exclamation point, boys and girls. He dropped the sunglasses with two exclamation points. Could that be a hint that we've got one more? Could that be a hint to the initial package deal? We will see there, boys and girls. Wow. Huge, huge pickup there. Huge pickup. Welcome to the show, boys and girls. Massive land there from LJ McRae uh, committing to the Florida Gators. Just ecstatic. Over 1,200 people in here, too. If you guys are brand new, new to the Gator content, smash the like button. Subscribe as well. Happy to have all of you here. Congrats to LJ McRae. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull up his, uh, hit the graphic. I got to see. I haven't seen the graphic yet. Mmm. I like it. It's clean. Take a look at this thing. Look at that. Hey, Foss, it's a beast, man. Welcome to the swamp. That's clean, bro. Absolutely clean, that is. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive there for the boys to land LJ McCray. Five star defensive lineman. Are you kidding me? On the bye week? Well, we've got to do a call in show now just for this. Yeah, all, all the FSU fans just. Just ran all the way home. To pull this one off, Georgia was making a run at the end there. Auburn obviously trying to do some work. I think the production on the field for Auburn is the reason why. Uh, Waller, I thought, was a five-star two at one point for two for seven. You're right, big piece of daddy. But I believed his rankings have gone down because at one point he was on two for seven, our only five stars. So we could be could how the season ends, those guys could move up and we could be sitting about four or five stars for the Florida Gators. So Look, felt good being on the Florida's bye week that it could happen. Love the fact of how everything was just hush-hush. I really do. Kudos to the team. Again, I don't know if Billy knew this or not. Maybe he was kind of on the outside looking in. If he did know, I think that also speaks volume to the, that staff, keeping that thing hush-hush, because nobody truly felt really confident. I think they, everyone thought they had an idea, but there was the opportunity that they could be flipped upside down, uh, but they were not. So, whew. Massive pickup here. This this kid is an absolute beast. 6'6". Six, six, let me take a look at the size one last time. 280, essentially, here. On three, 247 has him as a five-star. Nationally ranked eighth on on three and nationally ranked sixth on 247. I mean, come and get you some of that, big boy. You know what I'm talking about? Son. Talk about a haul for the Florida Gators. Massive. And look, here's the good thing, right? Because we know how we joke around Florida drops or on three drops the rankings once they commit to Florida, right? They just, they just moved them up. So you can't go backwards now. You know, we're halfway through high school season. You can't all of a sudden just forget about, you know, what happens. Uh, this is a good point, Muddy. I don't care where we end up in the rankings. I mean, this, this class alone for Florida right now, boys, is something special. Let's just take a look at it. I've got it pulled up here. Let me remove Seton, and let me remove Xavier, and let's look at this class Let's just kumbaya this class together here for a minute, okay? Let's appreciate what we're dealing with. DJ Lagway. Mm, that's just, I mean, you, you just can't start off any better than that. Five-star stud, 6'2", 225, just slinging the rock. 
Xavier Fields to make 6'1", 180. We're looking at Zay Mincy. That'd be two stud safeties in one class. Then this linebacker class is just something out of the freaking just comic books, right? Adarius Hayes, 6'4", 210. Dude, the kid's a dog. I know we don't like saying that around here, but he is, okay? Got a new soundboard. I don't have He's a Gator and I'm plugged into this just yet, so cut me some slack. Miles Graham. Love me some Miles Graham. Have Miles on the show. He, he, he hinted that things were coming. We didn't know when or where, but here they are. 6'1", 212. Okay, play next alongside Kendall Jackson. Kendall Jackson, big boy, too. And then Aaron Child, 6'3", 220. I mean, beast. Then Jamonte Waller, they got him linebacker slash Ed, 6'2", 225. He was a five-star at one point, slipped down a little bit. And that tight end position, which I love, the tight end starting to build up with Arliss Boardingham, Amir Jackson coming in, 6'4", 223. I think uh, Miami or Georgia is trying to pick him. And then, of course... L.J. McCray, 6'6", defensive lineman, 260. Don't remember, we just lost Michael Barrera, defensive lineman, who could be coming back on board, but he decommitted just a few months ago. World on Mac, cornerback, 5'11", 170, four-star, blue-chip Billy. Amaris, Amaris Williams, defensive lineman, four-star, blue-chip stock. Fletcher Westfall had him on the show. Incredible young man. Offensive tackle, 6'8", 335. Then Nasir Johnson, who is visiting Florida State, I believe, this weekend, right now at the Duke game. So hopefully we can hang on to him as he's going there. 6'4", 300, another four-star four, four, four star blue chip. And then Jarrah Hawkins, wide receiver, and uh, Ab- uh, to- Tawask Abrams, who we also flipped from FSU. Wide receiver's talent. Kanan Daniels getting his four-star. I think he was a three-star at one point. Has had a tremendous senior year in high school. Glad to see him get that four star. And then Isaiah Williams, another wide receiver, six foot one seventy two, also four star. The four stars in this class are just unreal. Josiah, uh, then Kendall Jackson, obviously teammates with Miles Graham. I mean, this class, boys, come and give it to you one time. And then the, the offensive linemen again. This is something that we've talked about. Their ratings are a little bit, uh, you know, conflicted compared to everybody else. Uh, but if you look at the size of our offensive linemen, 6'5", 334, 6'7", 310, 6'5", 292, some big boys there. Josiah Davis, three-star safety, and Teddy Foster, 6'2", cornerback. So way to bring the class together. Again, some room left to really pull this thing together, boys. Really pull this thing together. I love it. Your Saturday just got better. Me, Mine and yours both, Alex. Feels good. Feels like we're all uh, moving we're cruising and moving, boys. Huge pickup. Huge pickup for the boys. I, if, if Billy goes and does what, he, what people want him to do in this offseason to go snatch up an offensive coordinator, hey, big, hey, y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. Seton is a priority. We got to go get Seton. You got to close this class with Seton. Couldn't agree more. Seton is a must get for Florida Gators. I think they get Seton. I mean, you could, you could end the class like that and be all right, we're coming. You do a class like that, I mean, you, 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 you follow it up again. Huge, 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 huge. Armstrong's name is number one in the country. I mean, could you imagine what these kids are going to be able to do with Armstrong at defensive coordinator? For us to continue to land these, these massive defensive linemen guys, I think they see what Armstrong's doing and are loving what he's doing. And if you can't watch him, like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited. And they see canceled. Did he really, Joe? Did he really? Love hearing that, boys. Over 1,000 people were still in here. Be sure to smash the like button. Over 646 likes. Good, good stuff. Yeah, next is Zay, Zay Mincy. That will be a big pool there. Boys, I mean, hell of a show. Hell of a show here. All of you that joined us, some people were new to us, you know, appreciate you coming in here. If you, if you, if you are new and you're still hanging out, welcome. Uh, this, this family gets buck wild. So if you enjoyed your time, smash the like button, turn the bell on. You don't want to miss it because when we go live, we, 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 don't, we don't ever disappoint. Okay? Space suits on, boys and girls. It's not, it's not coming off. You guys, be good. It's new soundtrack. Come with some slack. <laughs> be good, boys. Love you. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.